The General Dynamics M60A3 patent represents the final iteration in the American produced patent tank series and serves as the last main battle tank within this series employed by the United States military. Originally developed by Chrysler, it was inherited by General Dynamics when Chrysler divested its defense division during the early 1980s. The conception of the M60A3 was not a premeditated endeavor by the U.S. Army, but rather an interim solution while a more advanced tank to surpass the M60A1 was under development. Originally, the plan was to create the MBT-70, a main battle tank initiative initiated in the early 1960s. Unfortunately, the project ended in failure due to its overly intricate design. An effort to rekindle the MBT-70 as the XM-803 also fell short of meeting the Army's requisites. Subsequent tank programs such as the XM-815, later renamed XM-1, proved to be protracted and costly. These delays also influenced other projects, including the M-68-2 Starship, equipped with a similar 152mm gun launcher found on the MBT-70 in XM-803, and meant to complement them in service. The M-48A-4, which aimed to upgrade M-48A-1-2-3 hulls with enhanced M-60 and M-60A-1 turrets, also faced setbacks due to the M-60A-2's lack of success. With numerous M-60 hulls designated for the cancelled M-60A-2, the logical course of action for the Army was to outfit turrets without holes onto holes without turrets. In essence, the M60A3 evolved from the amalgamation of components from other programs, almost seeming to create itself. Meanwhile, various existing M48S received upgrades to the new M48A5 standard, involving the replacement of their regular turrets with a 105mm gun turret. This narrative is distinct from the M1 and M1A1 tanks, which encountered more challenges in terms of maintenance and reliability, particularly in comparison to the M60A3. The M60A3's exterior closely resembles the M60A1, with distinctive features including a crosswind sensor atop the turret bustle, smoke mortars flanking the glassy plate, and a thermal sleeve encompassing the gun tube ahead of the fume extractor. While some M60A1S may also possess these attributes, all M60A3S are equipped with them. The powertrain of the M60A3 mirrors that of the M60A1 Rise, utilizing a Continental AVDS 1790-2C 90 degrees 4-stroke diesel V12 engine producing 750 horsepower at 2400 RPM. A General Motors CD850-6A automatic transmission with two forward speeds and one reverse speed allows pivot steering, enabling rotation on the central axis. The tank carries 1,412 liters of diesel fuel, offering a road range of 480 kilometers. Notably, the engine can generate a smokescreen by spraying diesel fuel into the exhaust. Maintenance of the M60A3's engine is straightforward and dependable proving advantageous in various conflicts. For instance, during the 1990-91 Gulf War, M60A1 rises and M60A3S necessitated only 15 minutes of daily preventive maintenance, even while the engine was running. These tanks encountered minimal sand ingestion issues due to their sand-tolerant engines, and no air filter modifications were required throughout the campaign. The M60A3 suspension and running gear remain consistent with those of the M60A1, but the T97E2 tracks have been replaced by the T142, featuring detachable rubber pads to extend track life. Despite initial aluminum road wheels, steel road wheels gradually replaced them starting in May 1980. In terms of mobility, the M60A3 maintains average overall performance, capable of reaching 48 km per hour on roads and 16 km per hour off-road. The tank can handle a 60% gradient or 30% side slope, surmount a 0.91 m vertical obstacle, ford 1.22 m of water, 2.4 m with preparation, and cross a 2.59 m trench. Weighing 52 metric tons, the M60A3 is heavier than its predecessor M60A1 Rise, yet it remains notably lighter and smaller than the M1 Abram series. 
This distinction renders the M60S more transportable, as demonstrated by US Air Force C-5A Galaxies airlifting for M60A-1S each to Israel during the Yom Kippur War. Comparatively, the improved C-5B accommodated three M60A-3S, but only one or two M1A-1 or M1A-2 tanks. Equipped with an M68 105mm-L52 rifled gun, the M60A3's armament mirrors that of the M60 and M60A1. The gun, based on the British L7 tank gun, fires similar ammunition, differing primarily in the addition of a thermal sleeve for enhanced accuracy and tube longevity. The tank's machine gun setup features a 7.62mm coaxial gun and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft gun in the commander's cupola. An additional 7.62mm machine gun is occasionally included for use by the loader. The M60A3's ammunition stowage resembles that of the M60A1, accommodating 63 rounds of five types for the main gun. Notably, the M60A3's turret boasts improved motors, enabling a swift 360-degree rotation in just 9 seconds. The gun trunnion motors permit the main gun and coaxial gun to elevate and depress at a rate of 4 degrees per second, offering elevation to plus 20 degrees or depression to minus 10 degrees. A mechanical fire control computer empowers the M60A3 to perform accurate indirect fire and engage distant targets beyond the reach of tank fire. This ability allows the tank to engage enemy formations immediately prior to an attack, minimizing the strain on field artillery resources. The M60A3 boasts several similarities to the advanced features later associated with the M1 Abrams, including a digital ballistics computer, laser rangefinder, passive thermal imaging system, and the capacity to fire accurately while on the move. Additionally, the M60A3 introduces a crosswind sensor, a capability not present in any M1 variant. The M60A3's firing accuracy significantly improved with its new fire control system. It achieved a 70% first round hit probability against stationary targets at a range of 2000 M, compared to the 23% accuracy of the previous M60A1 under identical conditions. The tank's tank thermal sight, TTS, enabled nighttime identification of enemy vehicles. Armor-wise, the M60A3 maintains the conventional single-layer rolled homogeneous steel alloy armor of the M60A1, accompanied by spall liners to mitigate armor fragmentation upon penetration. Track skirts, while not used operationally by the US Army's M60A3S, were added by some foreign users. For communication, the M60A3 features a short-range radio along with a longer-range radio in platoon commander vehicles for communication with company commanding officers or field headquarters. Tank infantry telephone boxes enable communication between the tank crew and adjacent infantry without exposing either to enemy fire. A landline cable jack facilitates secure communication between field headquarters and other friendly units at prepared fighting positions. The M60A3 is equipped with a collective NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, system and incorporates some radiation shielding into the hull. Capable of accommodating various combat engineering equipment such as mine rollers, mine plows, and dozer blades, the M60A3 serves in minefield proofing, breaching, and clearance, offering versatile capabilities on the battlefield. High Explosive, he, and high explosive squash head HESH, rounds fired from the main gun can be used to eliminate obstacles and enemy fieldworks. The M60A3's combat debut occurred during the 1982 Lebanon War, demonstrated through the Israeli Magic 6 version. This variant proved effective against various Syrian tanks, including T-62, T-55, and even newer T-72 M1 tanks. The Magic SXS performance was bolstered by advanced ammunition like the 105mm M111 Hetz APF SDS round and the M456A2 heat round. This engagement dispelled prior beliefs that only a 120mm round could penetrate the frontal armor of a T-72. Subsequent conflicts, like the 1991 Gulf War, 
saw the deployment of M60A3S by the US military. While these tanks were used extensively by Saudi Arabia and other nations, the M60A3 was gradually phased out of frontline service in the early 1990s as the M1A1 Abrams became the primary US tank. Some M60A3S persisted in roles like opposing force training and explosive ordnance disposal. Internationally, the M60A3 remains in service with countries such as Egypt, Turkey, Taiwan, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Bahrain, and Thailand. Local upgrades are applied to enhance protection and capabilities. Despite its age, the M60A3 is still valued by various nations due to its availability in perceived obsolescence, often being sold or even donated at or near scrap value. In conclusion, the General Dynamics M60A3 patent signifies the culmination of the patent tank series, representing a pivotal chapter in armored warfare history.